Okay, here's a LP barbecue regulator here. This end connects up to the propane tank. This end hooks up to your grill. This drops it down between, say, 10 to 13 inches of water pressure. The way this works is this hooks up to the LP cylinder, and this is the poplet valve that's in here. And there's a spring of the diaphragm inside of here. It's like this. Here's the body. There's a spring that pushes up against this. And this is the adjusting screw that's buried underneath the hidden top. The cheap models just have a physical top on here that you can't get at it. A better one has an adjustment. They adjust this at the factory, and then they put the plug in and seal it. Okay, what happens is when the pressure is above just, say, half a PSI roughly, it flows through, goes through this outlet, and it drops. It drops because this valve is sitting here regulating. The spring pushes on the diaphragm, and that keep, limits the pressure. Now, if you have a situation where this got blocked, what can happen is this whole housing can explode. So to prevent that, there's a secondary spring here, which is a safety spring. What that does is that if this is blocked, the full pressure would be from the LP tank would be inside this cylinder, and it's going to push this forward, and it's going to bottom out on this piece, and like this here, it's going to hit this and then release through the hole, the center. Then it goes through the weep hole here like this. So there's a small hole that's inside of here that prevents the body from uh, this thing from exploding. And that almost never gets used, but if you did block this off, you wonder why is this is not going to explode. There's a this is this check valve in here that basically it's over pressure. If the diaphragm goes over, it's going to go through and push this and hit the uh, adjustment on here and then leak through that hole, go into the other side of the body, and then come out this little hole here. But normally what happens is the diaphragm's on here, the spring, this lazy spring is pushing on this, and it's going through and adjusting this little valve that's in here like this. That regulates the flow. Now one of these devices only has a limit to how much you can send through it because of the size of the hole and the discharge. You can't use this thing and get uh, over a certain flow rate because uh, it's limited by the size of the hole that's on here. So if you had several burners, you might have to have two of these in parallel.